Welcome, everyone. Good morning. I'm Michael Birkin, the Chief Marketing Officer at ASA. We're thrilled to have you here um, at the ASA Global Press Conference entitled Redefining Technology Through Touch. First, let me say that this, as we know, is a remarkable time to be a technology brand. The influence of technology in the world, already enormous, grows every day. Technology is opening up new possibilities for people, it's giving people new ways to participate and contribute to society, new ways to explore the world around them. And that gets us really excited at ASA. We're an energetic company. That's why our brand is single-minded in its aim to enable our users to explore beyond limits. The video you just saw features some very interesting people we've been working with here in Taiwan. They're each exploring new worlds of their own and driving cultural development here in Taipei along the way. They're here with us today and I'd like them all to stand up for us to congratulate them. CC, Pau, Jason and Amos, thank you very much. One month ago today, uh, we had an event very much like this in New York City, where we launched the Acer Spa R7. And we opened that event in the very same way that we have this morning, introducing interesting New Yorkers, in that case, who are on their own journeys, pushing their own boundaries, and contributing to culture in their own ways. All around the world, every day, Acer is getting to know more of these most influential people and learning from the latest trends sometimes trends created by the very people themselves. As an opener to this conference, it sets the right tone for us, because Ace's story always begins with explorers like these. Now let's get started. We've got some exciting things to share with you today. And first up, I'm going to introduce our Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. J.T. Wang, and he'll be followed by our Corporate President, Mr. Jim Wong. So, JT, please come to the stage. Thank you very much. Uh, dear friends from the media, welcome to Acer Global Press Conference at Computex. There are more than 1 billion PC users around the world. Why? Why do they hesitate to purchase new PC? In the new PC world, users are becoming smarter and demand a significant enhancement of the overall user experience. If you don't do that, they don't buy. They also want to make sure the PC vendors provide a constant innovation to satisfy their growing needs. Key players in the PC ecosystem should understand these requirements and work together to reinvent for customers, to enable Acer device users to explore beyond limits. We at Acer have to explore beyond our own limit first. As a key technology player, Acer is always prepared to collaborate with industry leaders to create innovative products with a complete user experience. Over the last few years, Acer has been dedicated to creating the best tablets and uh, touch and type duality computing devices. And we want to be the expert of these two categories. Today, you will see some amazing new products made possible through ambitious Acer design and cooperation with our partner. In particular, you will see the first 8-inch window a tablet that brings the desktop into one hand, created through the collaboration with between Acer and Microsoft and Intel. 
Also, you will see a great example of our progressive design on our flagship S7 products. This and other devices, as you will see, cover the full range of our portfolio. At our Computex exhibition booth, you will see Asus full product line, including the revolutionary Aspire R7 novel with its multiple modes of operation and much more. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and now I would like to welcome Acer President Jim Wong. Uh, good morning, and ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, welcome again. So, uh, we are here today to talk about redefining the technologies to touch. Actually, that's uh, like uh, Michael and JD already mentioned. This is a continuation of our events just exactly a month ago in New York City. So, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, in New York City, we mentioned about a few things. First of all, the whole industry is the uh, uh, emerging uh, that's, uh, into a lot, a lot of uh, different ways. First of all, it's no more computers, it's about computing. Computers is something that we do familiar with. Computing is everywhere, no matter it's a PC, tablets, uh, in the smartphones, and even a lot of new devices to come. And also users are expecting more than devices. They are not buying devices, they are buying a, 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 a different experience for them to, uh, to enjoy and solving their problems. Okay. So, that's the, so that's why I to talk about the progressive design in New York City uh, a month ago. Talk, talking about the, uh, that the design has to be customer-centric, design has to be, uh, let's see, continue to listen to customers even after you launch the product. So that's why we call it progressive design. And that's the uh, um, Acer is very comfortable about this kind of dynamic changes in the industry, and would like to lead it even in this uh, area. Okay. So that's uh, in New York. Uh, we talk about uh, the one thing we said. We try first thing to improve is the duality, which we announced uh, in the last year when uh, Windows 8 was uh, was launched. Uh, duality means the uh, combining that uh, touch and type experience. For users to really that, uh, enhance their capability, okay. and in New York, uh, after the uh, that, uh, uh, Windows 8 launch in New York uh, in May, then we show the first that, the, uh, that, uh, uh, the, the the new design with enhancing the duality. We call it Acer Inspire R7. Okay, uh, let me show you about what is R7 to refresh our mind. Yes, that's the way we call it: progressive design. We try to offer users the, the experience, they can move the screen closer to them to really enjoy touch and type at the same time. So, that's the, uh, the new designs to our uh, the philosophy is always that we have to improve the, the experience for the, the users to enjoy the device. Okay. A month after the, uh, the launch, it's the, uh, we are very proud that the, uh, with all the media's review, turn out to be its majority. Uh, overwhelming that's, the, uh, that's uh, accepted by the customers, talking about the, the, the design, that's the, uh, the innovations, and they are com comfortable about using that, is really solving their problems. That is something that uh, we consider our customer insight was good for to improve, uh, to help us to improve our experience we want to offer to users. And uh, as well, that's the, uh, we are not thinking about stopping here. The progressive design means we have to continue to look from here. Okay. So that is the uh, something um, so encouraging. Okay. Acer's uh, mission statements uh, since uh, 1988, uh, when Acer uh, transformed the name from the Multitech to Acer, speed there like uh, the breaking the barriers between people and technology. So this progressive design is not new to us. We just go back to embrace the spirits we want, and we want to humanize the experience we deliver to the customers. That is our that's the uh, new. Uh, intention to do. Okay. So that's uh, in doing this way, you still don't want to do the things like experimental, just like the throw the things to see which one sticks, and the bet on that. No. We have to do uh, the customer centrics before we design the products. 
After we de develop products, we listen to customers, what else we can improve. Later, you're going to see some examples uh, of today's uh, uh, introduction. And the, uh, the whole industry really needs the progressive design, not only NASA, but the, uh, the spirit to satisfy customer needs continuously, this is important. And there is also the thing I mentioned earlier we'd like to lead in this kind of spirit. And uh, today, let's see, uh, um, is uh, beyond the, 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 the New York events. We are going to talk about the things as something uh, going broader, broader to uh, the other templates, to the clip, other clip shells, as well as this, the, uh, some of the uh, smartphones. And uh, we like to uh, share with you today. So let's the, uh, begin to talk about those. Okay. Uh, first of all, that's uh, the products I'm going to introduce as the, the first desktop into your one hand. Okay, so we are talking about a lot of the uh, that's, uh, media tablets we introduced uh, last month. The Iconia A1. We are I'm going to probably announce that the uh, the Acer Iconia that's a W3 is here to say. Let's have a quick look of what does it mean about the product. Hi there. Let's welcome Joseph uh, Ting Tan, that's the uh, ADP of the product market, to join me to show you a little bit more about the technology. Thank you. Very good. Yes. So beyond that's the uh, that's, uh, video, what else are you going to tell us? You know, I was thinking. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody in this room is just like me, always looking for a device that you can bring and and you know with you everywhere you go. And you want this device to do a little bit of fun as well as a little bit of work. So with that, um, I'd like to show you this Iconia W3 that I have yes. here. Yes, all right. And I will show you my favorite uh, video. This is the one that, uh, you know, I used to watch uh, to distress myself. And um, this is the actually the Iconia W3 uh, crowd video. Wow, okay, sounds good. Yes, so uh, it looks like a good uh, viewing quality. What kind of display it is? Oh, it comes with an HD display at 1280 by 800 resolutions. Mm, sounds good. And you play eight hours. Wow, so you never sleep. Never over sleep. The, the flies uh, <laughs> over the uh, Atlantic or Pacific. That's right. But you still need to work. So what else is the, you can share with us? Oh, How no. are you going to solve? Yeah, not only you actually play video, look. Let me pull out the Excel spreadsheet here. All right. I know you're always asking me for the Excel <laughs> chart. Look what I can do here. Instead of just giving you the Excel spreadsheet and all these numbers that make your head hurt, you can actually do a chart. All right. And you select whatever chart that you like. All right. I like charts. Okay. Yes. I'm not as uh, smart to look at the, uh, the figures all the time. And you see, just put out a chart. All right. Send it to me. <laughs> So this is really something the other media tablets cannot do, so yes. productivity-wise. Yes. Sounds good, all right? So what else is you going to show us? Let me show you something. Wow, okay. Something you're hiding? Yes. I kind of put this here. Uh -huh. You know, if you want to do more than just touching the panel, we also come with a keyboard. Mm. And all you need to do is place it underneath here. Uh -oh. All right. And you snap it. And you care with you. Right. Everywhere you go. All right. Great. Don't work too hard. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so, big uh, little. It can be small. It's a little things. It can be big for your productivity. So, uh, we are very proud to achieve by delivering the first the, uh, the, uh, the tablets into your hand, just like a formula like desktop. But without the cooperation with our, with our uh, close partners, uh, Microsoft, we have no way to achieve such a better uh, design. So let me welcome let's see, uh, uh, let's see Bernardo uh, Carlos, who is the uh, general manager of the uh, Windows Planning Group uh, from Microsoft to join me on the stage. Hi, Bernardo. Thank you. Welcome to the Windows Planning Group. 
Congrats. Yes. We're really excited to be here. We yes. built Windows 8 to bring the best of work and play across a variety of devices. Uh -huh. We're really excited to see you bring it into the smallest package yet, an 8-inch, uh -huh. where you can hold your desktop in one hand. Yes, so we are working together to deliver the best experience for users. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And how about the, uh, the app apps? Because you know, that's what the campus people always asking for that the uh, stores so that they can continue to download something, enhance the experience. How can you tell us a little bit about the Microsoft Store? Yeah, absolutely. So you, you show uh, Office, which is an experience that's built into the device, uh -huh. like many other great experiences. But people want to try new things every day. So in the Windows Store, we have over 70,000 apps. Uh -huh. We've had over 250 million downloads in the first six months alone. Mm -hmm. okay. And you see popular apps like Twitter, CNN, Netflix, mm -hmm. as well as games that people would expect, like Temple Run mm -hmm. uh, and Angry Birds Star Wars, all available through the Windows Store. Wow, that's great. This sounds good. So the users can really have a good experience by the beginning <coughs> and enhance that. Absolutely. And it's the best of productivity with mm -hmm. Office as well as Play. Uh -huh. Games and many other apps that are available through this one. Okay, so load the uh, W3 up. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, as I mentioned about that the uh, that uh, micro the Microsoft corporations to make this happen, but if you listen to Joe carefully, she also mentioned about high performance, the uh, long battery life. I have to also welcome that the uh, that uh, Intel to, to join us for making this possible with a very powerful CPU inside, with a very high power, uh, that's efficiency inside. So I also invited the, uh, the, uh, the Herman uh, Yu, who is the Vice President and the General Manager for the Mobile and Communication Group for Intel. So Herman. So now let's, uh, we work out this uh, W3 to make it as a powerful performance and power efficiency as well. You would like to tell us what's the secret of Intel? Yes, of course. First of all, thank you for uh, the honor to be here. And it's my pleasure, by the way. Yeah. Uh, the secret is two things. First of all, it is the collaboration that we have with you. Sure. And that always delivers something which is the next step. Uh -huh. And uh, you push the envelope for us, and we would like to respond to this. And so we could bring this wonderful baby. It is sleek, it is lightweighted. And it can do everything. And right. it spans from the compatibility and from the workspace. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we can go to the other side uh -huh. and let us have fun on it as well. Yeah. So we, we like this very much. That's one thing. And the other is, of course, it unleashes and it reveals the power of the technology we have. Yeah, With well. this, we together can translate this into a user experience. Uh -huh. You can make a difference in the market. And based on the Intel architecture, mm -hmm. people can continue to really have all the compatibility on their device. Uh -huh. and on the other side, have fun as well. So it's amazing. Great. Thank you. So that's been later. I can give you another specs for the W3 next generation right away, right? We have it all got in our pro. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And you enjoy the rest of the W3. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is a show about let's see, how important the uh, industry working together to deliver the, uh, the good experience for users together. Okay, so that's uh, I like to move on to that the uh, next after the uh, that's the uh, uh, age tablets. Uh, what else that's the uh, age is thinking about from progressive design? So I mentioned about we introduced the uh, Aspire R7 in the in New York events. Uh, it's been in the market and May 14th is were officially in the store. So let's see, uh, let's, uh, uh, how about the S7, Aspire S7 we announced during the, the uh, last year's the, uh, uh, Windows 8 launch. So let's take a look at that, that the, uh, uh, after the first version of S7, have we done anything on that or not? Okay. So let me welcome David Lee, our senior architects of Acer Group. That's the, uh, the we introduce the uh, R7, what else does, uh, you are doing with the S7? It's just stay, stand still or you can show us something? No, thanks to the launch of uh, S7 last year, we have done a lot of positive response from, from, our, uh, from the market and from our users. At the same time, we've been listening to their comments and their findings and their experience and incorporating a lot of these learnings into the second generation product. So this is second generation? Yes, this yes. is the result of 
progressive design, uh -huh. as you see last. Mm -hmm. So we, from from our information gathering and learnings and and collection of user insights, we understand that the users you appreciate the very very thin design. All right, always the very solid, high quality feel of the unit, mm -hmm. and of course the use of new materials, so we continue with the glass, corning glass, uh, gorilla glass uh, surface. No change. Okay. Uh, with the mill, precision mill uh, aluminum frame that is mounted, mounted for the display. Good. And, and the new things? Also, the new things is that we know that you believe that typing experience is very good. Mm -hmm. So one thing we have done on the new SRS 7 is that we have increased the key cap traveling by length, the length of it by 30%. Oh, wow, okay. So the typing experience is much improved. Right, okay. So we listen to customers. Yes. Yep. And furthermore, to make sure that as you carry around the notebook, it is, you can use an even longer period, for a longer period of time, we have made that battery uh, much bigger, 33% to, uh, to be exact, is a much bigger battery. So battery life is 33% extra? Yes, significantly better. Good, good. Then, at the same time, to make sure that you don't get any compromise on the, on the, on the visual experience, we are introducing the support for the higher resolution W Quad HD display. Wow. Um, what this means is that in this display, we have 2,560 pixels by 1,440 pixels. Can we call it retina display? Oh, yes, definitely. Okay, good. And, and it's not just the display itself. We also make sure that the touch experience is extremely well done so that we can have very fluid, very smooth, and very responsive and accurate touch uh, all on this very, very extreme high ultra resolution display. Okay. So everything on the touch you are seeing, whether you're doing the, the movements or doing the zooming, will be all at 60 frames per second. Mm. So incredible touch and visual experience, guaranteed. Alright, okay, so with a retina display, so we can get much better picture quality. Yes. So I can say that the, uh, after the uh, first generation, second generation, improve on travel distance on the keyboard, battery life, and also much better display. Yes. Continue yeah. to be our flagship. Yes. And and sounds good. Sounds good. And then the top of the class touch experience. Yes, very good. What else is the, uh, on the uh, S, the uh, class family? Is uh, the uh, only thing so, we're so doing? We we haven't stopped. I think as part of this uh, progressive design effort at Acer, one of the key things we have with, we are doing is that maybe it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. is that we are extending this innovation into these uh, into the, our mainstream product. So this is the Aspire S3. Right. It is. You call it S. What's the diff, uh, What's the same thing that's uh, coming from S7? Oh. Um, we are bringing a lot of the technology that we innovate on S7 into a much affordable S3 series. Mm, okay. So you will see the same type of frame design, milled aluminum with mounted uh, surface cover, where it comes in slightly different colors for different feel. Mm -hmm. um, the precise, precise uh, surface area that delivers high quality feeling. Same like the S, right? This is, so this is what I call the S, yes. Yep, and then of course, the touch experience is directly carried over. Also the same, right? So anything different, say uh, S3 from S7, that's why we created uh, S3 S3's, uh, from S7. So in order to make sure that it's uh, much easier for, other, uh, for our users to understand, is that other than the solid state hard drive that we support, we also can put in a rotating mechanical hard drive. Mm -hmm. The hard drive. Yes. So the hard so drive will give you up to one terabyte of storage. Right. Okay. So it should be more than enough for 
a lot of people to use this and it's much easier for the, the average user to understand and appreciate it. Wow, so this is the little brother of S7, but not necessarily intimidated by S7. Yes. It, it, has can, own it, it can stand on its own. Right. So I look at the colors of why the, there's a color of red you're showing here. Anything special of that? Uh, the design is, is, is there to, hand, to be able to support various uh, ID looking fields. Uh -huh. So it, later on, as you go into our experience studio, you can take a look at what other, what other alternatives there are. Uh, different colors. Okay, all right, so we started off with that. So what else are you going to share with us? Anything more or? Yeah, uh, last thing I want to show is just uh, our V-series, the latest. Uh, last year, Acer launched the first generation V-series. We basically redefined how slim notebook should be and make it by making it much more affordable. Mm -hmm. So applying the same philosophy of progressive design and extending this innovation through our product line, this is the S7. Um, this is the V7. V7 is leveraging a lot of the technology we have um, from that we picked up from um, from the S series. Okay. And we really encourage you later on to visit our experience studio or Acer Computex booth and experience these machines firsthand. So we have the highest end, that's the flagship uh, class S. We have the uh, R class, that's the uh, second class, and the uh, V is our uh, mainstream class. So which means we are populating that's the uh, the features from the S down to the uh, R now down to that and V class. Yes, correct. This All right. So we are really progressive. Yes. One of the key philosophy behind our progressive design. Very good. Very good. So we are really expanding the, the coverage of that. Yes. Thank you very much, David. Thank you for the panel. So, you know, it's a progressive design going broader, so that is the uh, on the claim shows. Uh, and uh, then the, the, the third and the last category of the product I'm going to share with you is the uh, smartphones. I think uh, we've been communicating with the words people are saying two plus one. Focuses on the foundations of PC improving the experience. That's uh, that's a joining so recently introducing that's the full lines of tablets. We, use, we said also for a longer term, so tablets and the smartphone is, is also very, very important to ASUS because it is also one of the data devices. So it's one of the ASUS uh, important the progressive design to offer users something different. So to join me on the stage is the ST Liu, our president of the, uh, that's the smartphone business group on the stage. So we're going to talk about uh, so let's, uh, you, I don't see you try to introduce us anything. No, it's all nicely fitted <laughs> in my pocket here. Right. So I have a computer right here. But I just want to say good morning to all the ladies and sure, gentlemen. Sure. It's a really nice time to be here and to share our vision and our plan with you, uh, with all of you in it. Good, good. good. But so we will want something physical. Yeah. So we're introducing the, um, the S1, the Liquid S1 uh, smartphone which is a uh, real state-of-the-art 5.7 inch, uh, we call it tablet, it's larger than mine for the phone. Right, it's big. But, yeah, it's big. You know, I can't, I can't remember ever I've said that big is beautiful, but this is big and beautiful. Right. And it fit right in your side pocket, you know. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, that's right. There are bigger generations, I mean, bigger directions that we're doing with smartphones. Uh, so, you know, like you said, it's not about computer anymore, it's about computing. Uh -huh. It's not about device anymore, it's about the experience. So we, you know, Acer is, is, a, is a great uh, computing company, a computer company. When we look at smartphone, we're looking from that perspective. What else can we bring into smartphone that is through important. the computer experience? Yes, yes. 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 experience yes. is what the company focuses on. Yes. Absolutely. And, and when, we, when we did that, we look at the, the product like this, and lots of smartphones in the world, you know, with the exception of a few products, most of the products of smartphones are very single tasked. I mean, you have to get out and in of the application to answer the call and get interrupted and all that. So focusing on that, that's when I'm waiting for you to ask me what do we do with the S1. Yes, uh, I don't need to ask. I'm waiting for that. <laughs> okay, well, momentarily, you have to yeah, you know, I have a feeling that very soon somebody's going to call me on this phone, but specifically when we look at this product, we say, hmm, should we make a, uh, a larger smartphone or a smaller tablet? 
But we believe that we, we, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that the, the digital computer experience that and communication open up. Oh, guess what? I got a call here. Yeah, who's so, calling? Oh, he hangs up. He has to call me back again. It's my <laughs> son. It's my son. It's probably not important. But the, the fact is that when I'm looking at this, okay, here, I have to answer this now. All right, okay. Something important. Yeah. yeah. Hey, son, where are you? <laughs> Is that absolutely? Oh, you're in Paris, so you're awake very early. This has got to be important. So I'm on the stage uh, next to my boss and in front of about what six billion people. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Hey, okay, what do you want? Uh, what just, you, mm, so go ahead. Just, just, just a quick call. Uh, I just wanted to ask for money. Money <laughs> again? Yeah, uh, uh, no. All right, well, listen, you know, you, this is like, you're really making me a very, very angry person. So, you know, let, let me just uh, put you on as a, as a guinea pig here. So let me pop up this screen now, and let me calculate just how much you owe me. So I loaned you 3,000 euros two weeks ago. Last week, you asked for another 2,000, and this week, you want what? How much? 500? You owe that. 150, so you owe me a total of 5,500 euros, and you know what, if you get married, you have to pay me back. <laughs> but let me ask you, yeah, hey, my, my boss is next to me, are you coming back to uh, Taipei soon? Yeah, I'll be here next Sunday. Okay, so let me see, let me move all these things away, uh, minimize this, and then let me uh, minimize this, and then move them out of the screen, and okay. Sunday the 9th of June, we'll have a quality daddy and uh, son uh, dinner. How's that sound? That sounds good. Okay, now I gotta go back to my boss now. Over, ciao, bye bye. Hey, I, w I was watching you guys are doing a lot of things at the same time. Yeah. So that's, uh, everybody says smartphone cannot do uh, multiple tasks. Well, what did you do? So this is a multiple task based on the, based on the fact that we, we overlay a, a uh, what we call the float application. Yeah, so we want to we, show it on the okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm so I'm so talking to you. So, so what we call this thing is now is a, it's a terminology we call float. So when my son called me earlier on, instead of you know putting me out from the application that I was doing, which is really looking at all the pictures here. And it actually asks me whether I want to answer the call or not. And in the process of the call, I can initiate several different applications and then concurrently multitask them. I think this is the experience of computing that we have always been doing yes. in the PC space. Yes. And then now, if we think along that way, uh, my, my confidence that we'll be able to bring that experience into a smartphone as well. That is impossible. Otherwise, it's a, uh, there's a lot of people living and breathing with the, uh, the smartphone today. That's exactly. We need to offer that. That is the important yeah. experience. Thank you. Yes. We have another features that we, we're not going to demo here today, yeah. but every, everybody knows about context awareness and all that. So we started to uh, uh, explore a, a feature we call the automatic uh, profile. So mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the old days, you go to a meeting, you set your phone to be silent mode uh -huh. and all that. So we're going to make that feature automated. automated. So, so you can go into like a gut de Nord in, uh, in, in France and then the phone will know that you're in the in in train station you'll get to outdoor mode by itself. And then you go to the meeting room and you can set up in such a way that every time you go, you go into the meeting, it will go to a, a silent mode. Well, that's, 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 good. that's cool. That's, that's good you know, for like the idiot that's of a smartphone like me. Uh, <laughs> you're not an idiot, you're not boss, yeah, so. So I, I, I mean, you know, what, what I need to do now is I want to take a picture for for, for, for the rest of us in the Acer. Oh, area. really? So if we're okay. not here, then we can, we can take a if look. If it comes certain evidence for something? Yeah, well, you know, uh, All right. for evidence for something I wouldn't tell you yet. <laughs> Let me take a picture. Okay. Yeah. So okay. picture quality really important for that. Yes. If you look at this big screen here, you know, yeah. it, 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 it fits nicely in your palm, and of course we have all the accessories like the pouch and the and the stylus for for you to be able to use that right. as an option for that. Yeah. And of course this uh, product comes with the Acer Cloud, and mm -hmm. instantly all these are synced, like the photograph I just taken of you. Ah. Coming up here. Alright, nice so one. I cannot be right. You have to know you're next to me and uh, my son can't be at the wrong time. Uh -huh. so, so this picture is going to share across the platform from tablet to PC to all our phones. And if you haven't heard of Acer Cloud, I mean Acer Cloud is the, is, is the thing that we're going to glue all across together. Right? Uh, so, so yeah, that's uh, our 
the most important is the attention. Absolutely, yeah. This phone is nicely designed. We're very proud of that. Very proud about that. Uh, I think we're gonna. It's big. It. It's a thick screen to hold on. Yep. It's uh, handles all the things. Multitask. Yep. Wonderful. Yeah. Yep. And uh, supports the Acer Plus. Good. Like a surfboard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much you for joining today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that's the important thing I like to highlight at uh, closing. That the uh, the smartphones, uh, the pictures uh, the ST was taking. Within 20 seconds, it goes back all back to his uh, uh, home storage. And uh, today, that's uh, the home storage we are using here. It's, uh, it's uh, another hardware we introduce here. We call it Acer All. If you remember when we launched the, uh, the Acer Cloud, we talked about turning your home PC into your own storage for everything. You are snapshots, uh, doing the, the, the documents uh, on the road, back to your storage. Today, we're also introducing the Acer All. For users, if you want to have dedicated storage at home for multiple devices out of home, to do it anytime, anywhere, any of the device accessing all your data, that, that's a, this is another option. It's a two terabyte of storage at home, so that they can contain whatever the uh, contents you have, and it's always always connected. Okay. So by closing my uh, that's a presentation here today, I have to emphasize again about the uh, that's the Acer spirit of progressive design. There's a lot of things that the users still are looking for and uh, unsatisfied, and there's a chance for all of us, and it's a continue to pursue on that. And the Acer Cloud is becoming a feature of Acer's all hardware, that's the, uh, on the, the tablet and the smartphones. When you buy it, you can sign up to have the uh, uh, Acer Cloud account. You can store all your photos. When you have snapshot that, you don't need to store it automatically. It goes back there. If there's the uh, actual book on the road, you can access all your files uh, back in your home, in your storage, that's anytime you can as well, right? Thank you for coming and please enjoy the rest of the uh, Acer shows. And there's a different center there, so and it's great center there. And enjoy the rest of the time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. That's, um, that almost wraps it up for us this morning, but we have a couple of other things. Um, a lot of what you've heard today, obviously, is about progressive design and enabling people to explore beyond limits. We recently uh, launched a film based upon the Aspire B3 product um, that essentially charts one person's journey alongside a very famous person. I'd like to show that, please. <coughs> There's an awful lot to see uh, from Asa here this week. Um, the, that film featured the Aspire P3. Um, whether it's the R series, the B series, which we're very excited about, the S series, um, or our whole portfolio. Please experience the products initially in our experience studio right here, we're going to open the curtain in a moment, but also visit our booth at, um, in Nangang at the, at the convention centre. It looks awesome, and I really recommend you to go. Um, there's also rumours that the gentleman in the film, Tiesto, is in town this week. There's also very strong rumours that Ace is throwing the greatest party Computex has ever seen. I think it's quite hard to get in, but you never know. Um, anyway, we'll certainly see some of you somewhere this week. Looking forward to that very much. We have an awful lot going on in this organisation right now. We are very energised. We know that it's a world which is changing around us and we are part of that change. But we're absolutely up for it. Thank you very much for coming here today. and I look forward to seeing you all during the week. Thank you. Thank you.